Well, finally, we end up in Fayette County over in West Tennessee, where Susan Watson met a lady who runs a unique kind of catering business. Now, instead of preparing the food and bringing it to you, she invites you to bring your party to her house. There was a time when Debbie's career took her to New York every month. Now, it was exciting, but stressful. So about 10 years ago, she decided it was time for a change. And the result is this beautiful place in the country that Debbie and her family just love. And these days, she can be at work in no time at all. I was a buyer for Catherine's Incorporated. They're located here in Memphis. They have, now they've merged, but at the time that I bought for them, they had about 250 stores. So that meant that I traveled once a month and I spent a week in New York. And it was really fun up until Wednesday. And then by Wednesday, you know, I was ready to come home. So um, I finally decided that uh, the career life and the travel life really wasn't me. But I wanted to be able to do something where I would still be around people because I enjoy that. Debbie soon realized that she could combine her love of people and her talent for entertaining with private catering in her home. And although she's definitely off the beaten path, she was confident of success. I think um, ladies love to go places, and um, I think we're fascinated with uh, things that don't look like where we live. And so I knew if it was good and the word got out that they would come, and they have. This is my sh chicken sherry tarragon sauce, and it's wonderful. Savory herbs for sauces, fresh mint for tea, even dainty roses that garnish heavenly desserts all come straight from Debbie's garden. Everything's made here by me, fresh, and um, I take pride in that. You know, I want it to be good because that's really what they come for. I try to just do things that I think people maybe haven't had before. Mostly American food, I guess we call it a little French. Um, I do some Italian, but I try to encourage people to eat something different, you know, not be stuck in the mode, try it. You know, that's what I always say, just try it. If you don't like it, you know, that's fine. But I don't have too many returns. They usually like what I serve. Ladies, um, lunch is served. If you'd just like to go on into the dining room and be seated, okay? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. There is only one seating a day, and the hostess chooses from Debbie's menus when she makes the group's reservation. With help from her sister Dolores, Debbie can easily and elegantly serve groups of 8 to 40 people. And We try to pamper them. I use my fine linens, I use my crystal, I use my china. I try to use everything formally because people don't get to experience that a lot. The younger girls, I think, you know, it's a new experience for them. So I try to make it really special and really pampering. But Rosebriar is not exclusively for the ladies. I have lots of men coming. They, they love it. They like to be pampered, too. And they like good food. So we give them plenty of it. Growing up, my mother didn't want me messing up the kitchen. So um, I really didn't learn then. I think it's just through time and reading cookbooks. I have some friends that are good cooks and so before I do a menu, before I um, set up a new menu, I will um, have them all come out and we have a testing and they taste the food and we critique it and uh, but just uh, some recipes I make up on my own and uh, then others I get from magazines or books. And once your taste buds and tummy are content, then they really like to look through the house. Um, and I encourage that after they've had their meal, I'll say, you know, you're welcome in any room that the door's open and just enjoy it. And, and they really enjoy that. Looking around, you might think Debbie's beautiful home has been welcoming guests for a century or more. In fact, Debbie and her husband designed and built Rosebriar just 10 years ago. We tried to do a lot of architectural detailing. Uh, we bought old light fixtures and re, you know, worked them so that they would uh, fit in and bought old columns for the fireplaces and did the hardwood floors and just tried to make it look old because we have a lot of antiques and uh, so that people would feel like, you know, they were back in the old days. The front doors came from Belgium and they date to the late 1800s and um, they were etched with acid and that's how they made the design of the roses on them. And that's one of the reasons that we named it Rose Briar. I'm from Texas and people there name their ranches. 
And when I was building the house, the girls at work would say, well, what are you going to name it? And I said, name what? And they said, what are you going to name the house? I said, well, I didn't know you named your house, you know. In the end, Debbie chose the perfect name for her home and by inventing the perfect career for herself, created a perfectly wonderful place for people to gather. A lot of times people will ask me, oh, is this, you know, a bed and breakfast, or I'll hear them whispering, you know, oh, I bet this is a bed and breakfast. And so um, I'll say, well, it could be if you want to stay and do the dishes. But nobody has ever taken me up on that. So it is not a and b uh, It is our home. We do live here. We use it. We enjoy it. But you can come here for lunch or tea or dinner. I've had so many wonderful people come through my door. I've made friendships. Uh, long-lasting friendships through people that have been here. It's been a great adventure and I've really enjoyed it. I hope to be doing it for a long time, yes, I do.